Woo, GMAT. Yay. Video games have come a long way since the days of walking down to the local petrol station just so you can rent Power Rangers on the SNES. And now, with digital video game distribution platforms like Steam and the PlayStation Store and I, I don't know, whatever Xbox uses, getting your hands on high quality games has never been easier. AAA titles, indie games, it's all there and with a well-balanced and effective review system. But what if we were to explore the lower end of the spectrum? What if we scrolled deeper into the sub-levels of these distribution platforms to scour for the games that have been reviewed so terribly that everybody refuses to play them? That's where I come in. Welcome to Mostly Negative. Yeesh. F Conclusion. The story of the Nile. Man. What, wait, hold on. Let me <clears throat> let me try that again. <laughs> the story of the Nile. Man being in an unknown place. How did he get here? What is this place? Why this road seems very familiar. <laughs> okay, I, I was thinking, am I reading this like a f spastic or is uh, am I? I probably shouldn't say spastic, should I? You know what? I'm about to say it. Oh, yeah. Say it. Spastic. Why this road seems very familiar. All questions have to answer you. What? Why this road seems very familiar. All questions have to answer you. And for some reason, the reviews are mostly negative. Oh, he said it! <laughs> Today we're playing Conclusion. Uh, the game is 295 Australian dollars, which I spent. Let's take a look at some of the photos. It looks like a pretty game. I think it's some kind of walking simulator. So get ready for a lot of clips of story. For Well, uh, we'll try and break it up with some interesting stuff. It's it's all just like, look how pretty our engine is. Shall we and just crack on? Give it a go. Give it a fucking go. Give it a fucking go. This all this is a this is a very confusing start screen, because the biggest things on the screen right now are these stamps that you can't click. Uh, USA print, but then like it's like where is it? Oh, way down here, coloured, almost camouflaging into the background. Is that a face? I don't know. Great. There's still no sound. What is what is the dealio here? Dealio. Wish I hadn't ever said that. Let's take that back. What's the f***ing go? Now we got sound. Oh my god. Don't hurry. Listen. Oh. I'm listening. Don't hurry. Listen. I'm listening. Do I go? What's happening? Is this a scary game? You said this wasn't a spooky. So far my 295 is, is, is working. Oh, oh, that's it. We're done. The game moves quick. Oh, game okay, looks good. <laughs> Everything's loading in slowly. Still loading. Oh, there we go. A bit more came in. Waiting for the rest of the game to load in. I, th I think we're good. Oh, that makes sense. That's like, if you turn around, that's the first thing you see that's close to you and they haven't even bothered to texture in the ground or uh, whatever. I'm on a fourth step of a rehabilitation program aimed at the helping, aimed at helping alcohol, drug, and sex addicted people. It's very specific. Is it just a program for those three things? I love booze, I love cocaine, but if you come anywhere near my dick, my diary is a complete reflection of my sins and wrongdoings. Doctor says, doctor, I hate when people can't write. Doctor says, it's like mother says, daddy says, doctor says, it's the way for me of understanding it. Let me try that again. Let me try and read that in full and see if it comes out like English. My diary is a complete reflection. God, I suck. My diary is a complete reflection of my sins and wrongdoings. Doctor says it's the way for me of understanding it. No, nah, no, nah, that doesn't make sense. What am I understanding? The diary or the sins? And I will never do these things again. I like to reflect, but I didn't quit drinking. Some poems. <laughs> also, I know we're very not far into the video and I should move a little quicker than this. But can we read that sentence? Like, put, let, let me, let me, let me do this again. The doctor says it's the way for me of understanding it. By that, I assume they mean the doctor says this is the way for me to understand my wrongdoings and my sins. Of course. Yes, makes sense. And I will never do these things again. I will never, never implies ever. I will never, ever do these things again. But I didn't quit drinking. What? That means you did these things again! Some poems, it is quite the opposite. I don't understand. It's harder to remember who you were after every session. This constant headache, tremor, and suppressing sense of guilt annoy me. Apart from the fact that the sentences themselves, I guess, kind of made sense, that note was pretty much gibberish. Oh my god! When he f 
Sprints, he really goes. So we're in the snow. We've come out of a cave that's collapsed for some reason. Don't know where my car is. Can we go down here? Oh, we can go down here. I probably don't want to go down there, though. Oh, God. Back up. Back up. Back. But come on. You can do this. So close. So close. Am I crouched? Why, am I, why do I feel so short? God damn it. Get up. Well, this is where we live now. I feel like I was supposed to go across that bridge, and I might have gone somewhere I shouldn't have. Moonwalking man does a moonwalking man does a moonwalking. Another note. Now, should I go back and see if there's another note? Because I don't want to miss that golden content. These notes sell the video just by themselves. Oh, it's a biggie. All right, I'm going to read this entire letter in its full, in its total, and try my best not to stop. <clears throat> my main and the biggest sin, I'm a liar. I wasn't so popular at school. I didn't have much talents. I was nothing. So, I don't want to stop at this part of my life. All I want to say is I found my talents when I was at th high school. I could drink a lot. Alcohol helped me to relax and to forget the reality and to forget myself. Only when I was drunk, I felt more alive than ever. At high school, there was a new girl in our class, a girl I can call my only victory, Victoria. She suddenly came into my life and the only thing I could thin about was her. After I graduated, she became a part of my life. Oh my God, why did the note change? Somebody, the note changed back to the old one. And now the notes stuck on my the notes stuck on my screen. The the notes stuck on my screen. I can't get rid of it. After I graduated, she became a part of my life. We're both 28 now and we have a daughter, Eva. When she was born 3 years ago, swore to myself I would quit drinking and I even started to go to a psychologist. And he's the reason why I'm writing these lines right now. But the truth is, I didn't quit drinking. I always knew I wouldn't. I was deluding my wife with false Fools? I was deluding my, my wife with fools, hopes that psychologists would help me. I swore to my child that it was the last time I frightened her, but every time I was coming back home from work, half drunk with a bottle of cheap alcohol, I didn't want anyone to help me. I was lying even to myself. I was falling asleep thinking that it was the last drop that went down my throat and soon I'd quit drinking. That we will be like a normal family soon. That we will be like a normal family soon. And the things, the things stuck on my. F I, this is how we play the game now, everybody. It just disappeared before, but now it's like just f here. And it's the note from back on that bridge. You know that bridge you could f see. Oh, I, I've worked it out, ladies and gents. If you pick up the note, you start reading the note. But if you walk away from the note, the old note appears, and that note is stuck until you go back to the note and press E. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? That that almost made no sense. Oh my God. That thing over there? Well, I bet the game devs when they made that little cut scene were like, we are fucking naughty dog right now. Did you see the quality of that cut scene? I love thinking about people who would have had to put in a crazy amount of time to make this game and they sit back and they go, boys, We've done it. We did it. Look at this masterpiece we made. This is like IGN, 9 out of 10. GameSpot, 9 out of 10. F***ing user reviews, 5 out of 5. We have made the best game of the year. And then everyone plays it and they're like, this is f***ing garbage. And everybody's reviewed it negatively. Oh God, people's misery makes me happy. I'm a bad guy. Duh. Oh, oh, Naughty Dog cutscene. Oh, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I buy. Oh, okay. All right, we're painting a picture here. Mr. President, where is the other tire? I don't want to get into it. You know that Hillary Clinton was a Bertha? <sighs> this world makes just no f sense. I'm trying. I'm. I really like. Let's take. Let's take a second from shitting on the game, and try and paint a narrative here, and try and understand what is happening. We have a gentleman. He came out of a cave that was blocked, locked, that had collapsed, and he's come across. A fridge on its side, a bicycle that's that's obviously crashed, and a chair with some pizza boxes. I had somebody comment like, you shouldn't shit on, you know, you shouldn't shit on game developers for making something, because look, like, and I get it, yes, yes, they've made a whole world, they've done this, it's amazing, and, and the point is, it is something I couldn't do. But at the same time, I, I can't ride a unicycle, for instance, but if someone got on a unicycle for three seconds and went, oh, 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 oh and fell over, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, you were up there for three seconds. You are incredible. Here we go. <laughs> my third sin. I'm insanely irritable. 
God knows how long I've been lying in the hospital. I have been... I had been rehabilitating long after a heavy alcohol poisoning and completely can't recall last month. Haven't got any clue why I have my both arms and few ribs broken. But I guess it has something to do with my family. The family who dared to leave me! Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's been a really long time before I had the opportunity to write it down in my diary. But the waiting was worth it. I want to drink something so bad. I need a dose of alcohol. And I need to see my family. Don't know how I'll act. Will I cry or be aggressive? But I really need to see them one more time. I feel guilty towards them, but I can't understand why. And it pisses me off. For now, I can't splash my emotions out. I can only write them down. And that's some f***ing deep shit. Ah, oh, fuck! We went back to the old note. God damn it. It's a, uh, it's a piece to a car. I don't know cars well enough to know what I'm looking at, but I assume it's the car binoculars. <clears throat> when I told Beck about this new series, this mostly negative series, I was like, oh, I, mean, I think it's a good idea. I'm gonna... And she warned me. She's like, just remember, you're gonna have to be do commentary on absolute garbage. And sometimes garbage isn't always funny. It's just garbage. And I think I'm now realizing the point she was trying to make. My fourth sin is incontinence. Doctor says I should sit back, be patient, and wait for my family to get in touch with me. But I'm not able to. I drink a lot and often. I'm even drunk right now at this very moment. Oh, I couldn't tell. And I'm mad. I got discharged from hospital a long time ago, and the only thing I do since then is drinking and night driving around the city in my wife's car searching for Victoria. Isn't Victoria the wife? The only thing I do since then is drinking and not- I know I said I'd just read the note, but let's- let's unpack it a bit. Night driving around the city in my wife's car searching for Victoria. That's like me saying, driving around in my girlfriend's car searching for Beck. It just hits the f***ing ears wrong. It's quite strange that they decided to leave me and take my car. Doctor restricted me from driving. I realized myself that drunken driver is a dangerous psycho who puts at risk not only himself, but the other people. What a sentence! Only I can't stop myself! Tonight, I'm going to search for her again. Blind drunk, I imagine. Wait, I remember how I got drunk and was trying to run the city. However, where the hell am I going? What? What? What was that? Oh my god, how do I listen to that again? It like faded out at the end, like the guy just given up on the lines. Oh my god, that's so f***ing funny. I'm literally dying. Wait, I remember how to get the train. That's a harsh red. This grave looks familiar. Whose grave is this? And whose blood in it? God, this is my favorite bit of the game. <laughs> my second sin... Hold on a second. This is a different note, but it starts the same as the other one. My second sin is incontinence. Also, haven't we already seen his first in... What? So I need to pause the video here. Uh, I'm currently editing, and I was just showing Beck how fucking insane these notes are. And she pointed out something. When I read my second sin is incontinence, and also my fourth sin is incontinence, I imagined it as impotence, but she just reminded me that <laughs> incontinence is... Any accidental or involuntary loss of urine from the bladder. So, there's that. My second sin is incontinence. I have drunk so much that I should be drunk to death. It's almost... I, oh, God. <clears throat> Alright, power through, Matt. I have drunk so much that I should be drunk to death, but my brain is completely sober and works on full power. Clearly not. I'm writing this sitting on the grave. After I finish writing, I'll leave this part of my diary here on the gravestone. Well, it's not on the gravestone, it's in the middle of the road. I don't want to remember this. I want to deny this part of my life. <laughs> it all happened a few weeks ago. Oh, here we go. Me and, my, me and my wife were at our friend's place and we had our daughter with us. I drank a little, but somehow I felt so drunk that I can't remember the reason why I got behind the wheel. All right, I can't just keep reading and not uh, talk about what he's saying. I have drunk so much that I should be drunk to death. But my brain is completely sober and works on full power. Yet, he drank a little and got so drunk. In the sky, he doesn't make any f***ing sense. I felt so drunk that I can't remember the reason why I got behind the wheel and let my family ride with me. It was getting dark, but I didn't even turn the headlights on. It was hardly surprised that a truck driver didn't notice our small car on a crossroad. I killed them. I killed my family. Even though I didn't mean to, I killed them without a single touch just by making a decision I can't even recall. Killed them with my own weakness. I just want to die now. Nothing can change me. I want to go on heavens and ask for their forgiveness. But before I go, I want to kill this dis desidrium with an alcohol. Dis dis desidrium? I'm going to Google 
Desidrium, because uh, I don't know a lot of big words, as you can tell. The biggest word I know is... Desidrium, an ardent desire or longing. Don't use big words in your game if you can barely get the small ones right. That's all I'm saying. And don't try and make me feel dumb for not knowing the big words. Are we nearly done, by the way? Because I... look how tall I just got. My fucking God. My first, my first weakness is violence. My second weakness is alcoholism. My third weakness is incontinence. My second weakness is incontinence. My first weakness is incontinence. My fourth weakness is alcoholism. My fifth weakness, drug abuse. My first weakness is drug abuse. My second drug abuse is incontinence. I just realized now that the, uh, the footstep sounds don't line up with the walking even a, a, a little bit. Also, if you're thinking, oh geez, the, 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 the recording of this game, the frame rate's really f***ing low. That's not the recording. This is 100% the game. My computer can run some f***ing shit and it's having a real hard time. Oh my god. It looks like my car. It looks like my car. What the? What the? He definitely said it looks like my car. Oh god. Look at that. This is... This is... That's how the frame rate is. Alright, well, let's power through. What? I didn't say... What, what was that thing that just came up before? What? We hope our story you liked. The money from this game will go to our new product. We will try to achieve the highest quality. Thank you for your support. Special thanks to Mikhail Shakov for voiceovers and Lyric Lozko for the English translation. Okay, let's take a second to talk about Lyric Lozko. Lyric, you have done an abysmal job. Uh, I don't know you personally. I, I don't know you. I don't know where you've come from, what your story is, uh, how dyslexic you are. But let me just say, <clears throat> you should not get a special thanks. You should get a, you should get a, um, a demerit. You should be put to the back of the classroom and not allowed to talk for the rest of the day. You naughty, naughty boy. What was that thing that popped up? What a f***ing mystery. It's like, it's like some f***ing Konami PT f***ing nonsense. It's just this, this little hint of something. I bet it was a, a secret code. I bet it was something f***ing, some goddamn Julian Assange. Uh, continue. Is there more game? Oh, we're back. Well, Jesus, what a f***ing adventure that was. What a pile of hot garbage. Does the game deserve its mostly negative reviews? Yes. Yes, 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 100% yes. Never been more sure of anything in my life. Yes. Yes. If I was to review the game, uh, let's say badly written notes out of five, one being a f***ing abysmal, five being awful, I would give this game a zero. This game was abysmal. It was pointless, uh, badly written, stupid story, the gameplay sucked. Everything about this game was f***ing terrible. Get out of my life. I'll leave you with, uh, I'll leave you with this. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs>